All right, hey, what's up guys? Uh, so this is gonna be a really quick tutorial on tabletop simulator, how to create basic maps, and then uh, we'll work our way to 3D maps. Uh, I like to just cut straight to the chase. So um, when you load up, create a server, uh, you're, you can do single or group, whatever you wanna do, multiplayer. Um, this is the first thing you're gonna see is a table. We're gonna wanna switch it. And I'll show you the easiest ways to switch it. So here in objects, um, you have tables. We'll get to these other sections in a bit, but tables, uh, you can, this is the most common one for D and D the custom rectangle. Now it's going to ask you here, Hey, what image do you want to use for uh, this table? Um, and so you can actually put your map in here. So I'll go ahead and browse my local files and I'll just show you some maps that I have. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on a map. There you go. Upload, cloud, upload, don't use cloud. And then once it's in there, give it a few seconds. Well, this is taking a little bit longer than usual. But it's still uploading it. All right, it's done. Looks like the tabletop simulator is a little bit slow today. While we're waiting for that, I can show you some other things. So here, uh, you can change your color. As a DM, you're gray, or yeah, the black, sorry. All right, so here we go, we have map. So we have a two-dimensional map. Uh, I'll show you again how to do 3D. Um, all right, so you have your map, and you're like, well, you know, I want to, I want to make it somewhat three-dimensional. I want to uh, maybe just some add some trees in here. Sure, no problem. Um, in the mods, there are a lot of maps that you can load up and just copy and save things. So I've already done that, but I will show you what I mean by copy and save things. So saved objects. Uh, I'll look for trees. Trees and plants. That's my little bag that I put trees and bags in. Uh, so I'll go ahead, and, you know, I'll just pull out trees that I have. And again, you can see my list of little trees and plants. Uh, the nice thing about tabletop is it works like other documents, you know, control copy, control paste, control V. So I can copy this tree and make a whole bunch of them. And I can resize them by doing plus or minus. Want a big tree or a small tree? Cool. Um, if you notice, I can move it. Okay. If you want it to be locked down, you need to uh, click L on it. That locks it. And if you notice, I can't select it without doing a right click on it. So if you're playing with people, you know, sometimes people will grab things by accident and move things around. Uh, you can also right click on it again. And then go to toggles and you'll see like lock and all the things in there all right and you're like well you know what uh, i don't want to do uh, kind of the advanced 3d building can i just put some walls in here and do it that way yeah no problem uh, so uh let's see i'm gonna go into actually this is where tabletop does supply some stuff um it has it in classic here it has the things that it supplies for free when you buy it. Here we got RPG. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right. Oh, sorry. It's not right clicking. Oops. Okay. So I just clicked on it and it loaded everything on there. Uh, if you notice here, I have walls. It's got pre-made walls. Um, it's got tables and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and delete most of the stuff. That's not how I wanted to do it. Uh, if you do that, it's going to load in like a whole bunch of other stuff. So let me uh, show you another way. So again, I have some walls of my own that I've found and I like. Okay. So here's tiles if you want to use tiles. Okay. I'm going to delete all my monsters here. Don't need those just guys just yet, but you see this is where the monsters are at. All right. So I have this right now. It's locked. So I'll go ahead and hit L. And you're like, well, that doesn't really fit. What do I do about that? All right, so you have this little tool here. It's a gizmo tool. 
uh, volume scale. Click on it. You can make it narrower. Okay. And then you can also stretch it out. So if you don't want to do a whole bunch of little walls, you can do it that way. There is a curved wall set that I found. And again, I'll show you how to get all that stuff. All right, so I got a wall. There are doors. And I'll show you, again, saved objects. Doors that open. Grab this. And again, same thing, you can increase the size of this so it takes up a little more space. Uh, a cool thing about this, you just press one or two and then it switches from open to closed. Again, you'll want to lock this, so L, you also want to lock the open one so it doesn't get moved, All right? So there's that. Uh, yeah, curved walls are a little harder, but there are curved walls in this. All right, so at a minimum, you know how to put some trees down. Oh, I ended up getting rid of my trees, but that'd be good. Yeah. And again, a bunch of these assets I just found from uh, looking at other, other people's maps. So if you go in the workshop, um, and I'll do that right now, I'll just load up something that I found before. So I'll go into my mods. Let's say this uh, waterfall, open up that one. All right, so here's a one world map. Uh, one world, if you want to know about that, it's a cool feature. But let me just show you first, okay? I like this tree here. Uh, let's see, there you go. So I right clicked on it. Sometimes it's hard to find. And I'll go ahead and if you notice it's animated. There you go. What I'm going to do is control copy it. And then I'm going to control V. And there you go. I have a tree now. And I'm going to unlock it. Now I can move it around. And what I'll do to save it is I'll do control, I'll save object broadly. And now you have it in your saved objects. So there it is right there. Um, same thing, any object on here, whether it's the rock, uh, so some things are a little harder to pick, but there's the, there's the rock there. Um, let's say you want to make a bag of stuff. Okay, so I'll go to objects, components. Uh, let's see, I'll go to tools, and then I'll pick a bag, drop that down. And I'm like, you know what, there's a bunch of things, plant stuff and trees that I want. I'm just going to take those things and drop it in the bag. Miss the bag. There you go. And now I'm creating my another tree bag. So I can put trees here if I have a selection of them. Um, so yeah, as you get more comfortable with it, uh, you'll learn how to do layers. I have a video for this where you can make uh, these different levels pretty easily um, and your sound effects with, with uh, these little watering effects um, okay so that's pretty much the basic uh, look that's that's the basic kind of finding stuff saving it and then bringing it into uh, a map first thing you want to do find yourself a basic map and let me do the whole stuff here. Actually, I'll just open a new one. Uh, let me show you. I'll just load this back up. Yeah, so it's saved with this stuff. So again, I'm going to delete this stuff. Again, sometimes you can't click things because it's locked, so you have to right-click on it. Boom, delete. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're going to do two-dimensional, you're going to want to add the walls themselves, which is a little time-consuming. Uh, in another video, uh, I'll show you where there's a really fast way of making walls. Uh, essentially, I'll show you one that I've made in my workshop. Actually, I've got my save. These are the ones that I've done myself.
I'll show you a mod too that has a bunch of assets already in there. So if you notice, this is my gaming table. I have these uh, boxes here. You can see they're kind of shaded. If I switch to another color, like a player color, like blue, uh, they can't see into my, my gaming area only. And the way you make these is with this, you do a hidden zone. So I don't know that's up there. Uh, but yeah, you do a hidden zone. You just click on it, delete it. So let's say I want to hide this table here or this section. I'll make it and then right click on it and make sure that it's black for, for uh, the game, the GM. And that way it hides it, whatever's touching it. So you can just click on it to delete it. Uh, but if you notice, I'll show you what's in my space here. Switch back to black. Uh, so I have creatures that I'm going to use. I have some dice rollers. Um, there's a creature right there. There is a HP. I have an HP uh, tracker. Okay, so this, if you notice, if you look at these creatures, uh, they have HP bars on them. And you can either do minus on there, or you can do minus on here. And these are a bunch of assets that I have. These are condition rings to show, uh, you know, what conditions are affecting each creature. Um, so here, this is a really easy like wall, wall setup that I made. So this is something I use. I use Pixlr X, which is an image uh, editor. Um, and again, that's in another video. And so I made these walls really easily with the image editor. Um, I have my initiative tracker over here. Uh, so yeah, and I have some timers here if you need them, and then there's some dice. So yeah, it's uh, and again, some more assets that I have that are hidden away in the black area. In the black area. All right. Um, just to show you real quick, uh, One World is uh, this little module here where you can have multiple worlds, um, multiple maps in one area, in one place. So you're not going back and forth. So this is like my basic, oops, sometimes there's glitches, but I think I can't just delete. Okay, so here's my map, uh, my map world. And if you notice my map world over here, there's links. So whenever you use one world and you put a map in there, it creates a link for you. So now all I have to do is, is click on that link. And I'm like, okay, I want to go here. Click on it and then I'll build it up. So once, once you get comfortable with making a map, this is the kind of the next step where you have everything in one place. Or otherwise you have to load uh, a different mod every time that you want to change maps. So here you don't have to leave. Uh, so here's the Sour Vintage. So it's a little tavern that I found and I just added my own little modifications. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know.